Hello guys, Silver Butterflies here. Uh, I brought here the box and I called it the Golden Resource of Silver Butterfly. Uh, I'm so overwhelmed, I cannot even do another review, but <laughs> I thought since I'm putting everything back in a box, I at least show that to you for brief. So this is a Nocturne uh, Caron. A very aldehyde thing. This is Lord Dutam, Nina Ricci. Uh, this one is one cliff first this is empty one but I cannot get rid of it it's so pretty and the scent is still there you know the scent called first uh, it's again it's very hard to find it's like a, a drop a bottle I used to have it uh, the separate story about it I'll tell you later one day this is uh, Celance Giacomo uh, I sprayed it here on myself. It's so bitter, it's so bitter grass, like um, Artemisia. But it's not mentioned here. It's uh, Nassis, uh, Rose, Bulgari, Santal de Inn, Ilan, Ilan, and Vetiver, and Bourgeon de Cassis. Uh, that's what it is. It's like I have a sem sample bottle, tester, and a smell divine. This is Cabochar of Cress. It's also uh, have a description here um, because it's tester. Bergamot, uh, Citron, Ilan, Ilan, Estragon, Galbanum, Cuer, Sage, or maybe Sage, uh, Patchouli, Jasmine, Vetiver, Rose de Bulgari, uh, Mask, and Mousse du Maroc. I have this um, Paloma Picasso uh, of different years, smell uh, almost the same, but you can define some bitterness in this version, or maybe it seems to me so. Uh, this is Wars and this is Moschina. It <laughs> actually surprised me today. It's so cognac-y, it's like almost niche nowadays. But it's long gone and forgotten. This is Madame Rocha. If someone of your relative had it back in the day, just drop me a line, tell about it. Same as used do of Estee Lauder. And I have Fendi, it's actually a gem. I compare it with Organza, Organza Indescence and the juice is even better than it's there but the bottle is there to die for <laughs> and this is bottle it's also nice look at this that's why it's called Sierra Fendi so what I have here a Jean Paul Gaultier this version and with this version it's still actual now. I thought it's too uh, old-fashioned. I spread it today on a blotter and I thought it's quite okay. This is uh, another scent from Giacomo. It's called Rare, Perfume Rare. Mm, to me, it's not wearable, but it's still very interesting. Uh, what it says here, Cardamom, Rose de Bois, uh, Jasmine de Gypte, Iris de Florence, Rose de Mai, Vetiver, uh, Coriandra Immortal and uh, Jean-Franco Ferret and Paloma Picasso of that version which is more lighter so that's it for now more later and I forgot about Salvador Dali in a pen uh, maybe one day I go back uh, to each of them and describe but it's too overwhelming <laughs> and wish me good luck and I wish you good luck with our search for perfume gems. Bye for now. More later. I'm your silver butterfly. All the best for you guys. I have to fly somewhere.